folks, welcome back. Back to work on our superhero coloring job here. You can see I continued during the break to add some more little details with the lasso tool. Again, don't overthink those. Don't try to get it perfect. It's really not important. Um, light doesn't fall perfectly on everything. You know, as long as you just add some depth to your work, it's going to come out looking great. Um, so that was uh, just some basic shadowing and that's our first step there with the lasso tool and now I'm going to move into a little bit more detailed shadowing and the way we're going to do that is with our burn tool um, your burn tool has a couple of different settings you have your range and your exposure um, depending on how detailed you want to get you're going to want to pay a lot of attention to those if you want to add a lot of depth to your work you want to start with a low exposure because every time you press your tool down it's going to add a little bit more shadow to it whereas if you go full exposure there's not much room for um, for depth your range is highlights midtones and shadows uh, that's just basically going to tell the uh, the computer which part of the color to modify um, best way to do that is I guess show you an example so we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna zoom up on Mr. Hero Guy's face here. And we would want to accentuate these shadows we already put down here. Oh, look at that. A little bit of blue. Weird. Okay. Um, we would want to accentuate the shadows that we put down, so I'm gonna go to burn. And also I'm now going to go to a soft brush, and I think that I'm going to start off with about a 35. And first I'll show you your basic setting, which is mid-tones, how that's going to change some things. You'll see it just barely darkens up that, uh, that shadowed tone. But I'm not just going to go over what we've already shadowed. I'm also going to go over some of the other areas to add a little bit more depth here. keeping in mind that this is as of yet one pass with the brush. Now I'm going to go back and make a second pass. And you'll see it darkens up just a little bit more because we're on a very low exposure. Every time we do this it's going to add a little bit more darkness to it. Um, now we'll go back and we'll do it on shadows. Same exposure, this time shadows. Basically are only, whoops, shadows. Alright, sorry about that folks. Accidentally a little tick of the mouse wheel there. So now on shadows, you're going to see basically the same effect, just a little bit less color. But for the most part, same effect. Again, each time we go over, it gets a little bit darker. And last but not least, highlights. Highlights, you're going to see the least amount of color in with each pass. So if you want to go for much darker, much faster, that's a good way to go. But it's going to take away some of the color, um, which can be good in uh, in some uh, capacities. But we're going for something just kind of a little bit more traditional here. So we're going to stick with just our midtones, and away we go. Again, just, you know, go ahead and let yourself be a little liberal here. Um, don't overthink it. Every time you pick up, click down, you're going to get a little bit of shadow there. Don't feel restricted to just the hard lines you made earlier. Go ahead and add some shadows just about anywhere you feel. start moving up to the hair here. So 
the sake of time, I'm going to take my exposure up. Again, that's going to limit the uh, amount of detail that I can put in, but it'll get our work done faster for this project here. See, we kind of got some more depth here to him. I'm going to move on to the costume. As I get to bigger areas, I'm going to go to a bigger brush. And again, staying in that same mode, I'm just going to start brushing in some, some dark here. Just using this burn tool. Now, the burn tool won't affect on uh, midtones. It won't affect a solid white, which is okay because just for contrasting effects, we're going to want to leave those solid. Consider while you're coloring certain things like where the cape goes over the arm, there might be a little bit of shadow on top of that. You know, just little things like that. And again, we're not, you know, you don't have to be perfect. Uh, you're just practicing here. We're just trying to add some depth. And I just kind of will randomly pick up my brush here and there just to add some random kind of textures to it. Again, I'm not somebody who believes it's got to be perfect. You may be, but it is all up to you. A little leg here. We're going to add some more depth in. So gradients and our line art guide us. And what this does is it creates kind of a cool mix of a brushed surface with a um, lassoed surface, which gives you the the kind of the combination of gradient and uh, and airbrush, which is really popular these days in comics and it's a really you know uh, eye-catching style um, so we're about there that's our shadows um, next we're going to do some highlights uh, but we're gonna go ahead and pause here and we're gonna add that in the next one so the next one's going to be going from our burn tool to our lasso tool so for now we're going to pause and we'll see you in a few <laughs>